wanna do, you can be anything. Hello, everybody. I'm Jane Goodall, or Dr. Jane, and I'm what's known as an ethologist. That's somebody who studies behavior. In my case, chimpanzee behavior. I dreamed when I was 10 years old that I would go to Africa, live with wild animals, and write books about them. Everybody laughed at me except my mother. And she said, if you really want to do this, you've got to work really hard, take advantage of every opportunity, and if you don't give up, you'll find a way. I think when I look back on those early years of research, the best years of my life, by the way, it was seeing the first chimpanzee to lose his fear of me, David Greybeard, using pieces of grass to fish termites from their mounds. So David Greybeard was using and making tools to fish for termites. And at that time, science had decided that only human beings used and made tools. And the fascinating thing about animals is all these different species have different behaviors that have evolved to fit into different kind of lifestyles. And it's endlessly fascinating. We're still finding so much new every day. Hi, Jane. I'm Kayla. And I'm Valentina. We're so excited to learn more about you and how to explore nature. What are some things you learned about animals while studying in Africa? I think one of the most important things that I've learned about animals in all the years that I've been out there is that every single individual animal has his or her own personality. It's not just chimpanzees making up a complicated society, rather like our human society, except that they don't speak. We're out on a hike and taking field notes. What should we be looking for? I would be looking for how many different kinds of birds do I see? What are they doing? Do I catch a glimpse of some little furry animal? What is it? What was it doing? And then also there are the amazing plants. How many plants do you find? Do you know the names of them? If you don't know the names of them, somebody perhaps can tell you. I used to make many drawings, and then I would show those drawings to a teacher, and the teacher would be able to tell me, well, that's such and such a bird, or that's such and such a plant. Is this how you made your discoveries? Oh, gradually, as I went on more and more hikes, I learned more and more, and I learned to see more and more things, and be interested in the insects, and what's under that fallen log? Let's have a look and then put it carefully back. And the field notes give you a, a history, a story, of how you gradually learned more and more. It is so empowering to see women who have followed their dreams. It really shows us that we can be or do anything and everything we want. 